killing drifters, is that it? How do you like it now? A rock. Can I use this? Something's out here. <laughs> Won't be needing this. There's another one. I got you now, asshole. One more to go. Shot! Camp's clear. Now you know how it feels, being on the other end of it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. There it is. Down the hatch. flying overhead, you'd think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only... safe in dark times was to go underground. I built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard with the neighbors spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover. Climb down the ladder and you'd be safe. With your radio and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. I'm just gonna grab some shot-eye. 